Hello everybody and welcome back to my classic USFL franchise in Madden 24 with the New Orleans Breakers. As you can see by the standings, we are in week 16. And we're actually at the top of our of the NFC South after our victory last week. We're actually tied with the Shreveport Pirates, who we actually are going to be playing this week. So obviously uh, an important game in terms of who's going to win the NFC South. We only have three games remaining. All three games are on the road. We'll take a quick look at that in a minute. But take a look at other uh, the standings around the league. In the NFC, uh, thanks to us being the Federals last week, the Gunslingers have a one-game lead in that division. The New York Knights continue to roll on a three-game winning streak. They have the inside track to the number one seed uh, in the NFC, and they might have already clinched it, actually, at 12-2. and two. And in the NFC West, you have a Los Angeles, Los Angeles Express, who still lead that division by two games, despite a two-game losing streak. We actually, one of our remaining games is against, is against the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Express, so that's going to be a tough game that we, we have upcoming that may have consequences for both teams. In the AFC, Barcelona actually played a game this week already, beating the Milwaukee Rage. I live streamed that game uh, a couple days ago. Uh, they, do, they are sitting at 10-5 and five and are, have the inside track to that division. Yeah, the Baltimore Brigade, who have been struggling lately, but still lead that division by one game. They're at 8-6. and six. The Ohio Glory, on a four-game winning streak, are on their next, though, to win that division. Uh, so that's worth keeping an eye out on there. AFC South, Jacksonville, Orlando continue to roll, having the two best records in the AFC, but Jacksonville does have one, a one-game lead on them there. And then you have the Denver Gold and Las Vegas fighting for that AFC West division. Uh, the Vipers did gain a game on Denver, uh, being that they won and Denver lost last week. So a uh, few of the divisions still uh, are up for grabs. So so let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the Breakers remaining schedule here. As we only have three games remaining in the regular season. Now, all three games are going to be on the road, unfortunately, just because we had so many home games in the middle of the schedule. But our last three games are at Shreveport, at Tampa Bay, which are two divisional opponents. And then we have our final game at Los Angeles, which is going to be a, a very tough game. All three teams are at least 500, seven, seven and seven or better. Uh, so obviously three important games and three tough games on the road. So previewing our next game against Shreveport, we've we've played Shreveport before at home, beating them 31 to 27 earlier in the season. Uh, but this team has two elite wide receivers and Zach Pickens, who might be the best player in the game, period, who's a 99 overall. And they also have Tremaine Woodard, who's a 95 overall. Um their problem has been getting them the ball, though, uh, as their quarterback, Anderson, Aaron, I believe his first name is Aaron Anderson, uh, you know, has struggled much of the season. So as you can see, he has 12 touchdowns, seven interceptions. So he's definitely hasn't done a great job of giving them the football. So I think that's the biggest thing that team has been struggling with. Although they're they're still eight and six. Um as you can see by their offense and defensive rankings, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in terms of scoring points. Uh, defense, they're actually been a little bit better. Their defense is probably one of more games than their offense. Uh, so taking a look at their last few games, they did beat the Tampa Bay Bandits 34 to 20 last week. I believe I live streamed that game as well. Uh, so and before that, they lost to Montreal. And then they beat the Michigan Panthers before that. And then, of course, we beat them 31-27 to before that. 
It's obviously a very crucial game. They are banged up at running back. As you can see, their top two running backs are hurt and are going to be out this game. So they can be a bit shorthanded at running back. Uh, so that's that might be a factor as well. So just look at the playoff hunt. As you can see, both both the New Orleans Breakers and the Shreveport Pirates would be in the playoffs. You know, should the playoffs start today? So this game has heavy implement you know implications on not only the division but also the playoff race. So uh, let, we'll have to see what happens there. Let's go ahead and go in game and start getting ready for our game. All right, we're in game, and as you can see, we do have a breakout scenario. That is good news there, as our star running back did have a great game last week. Let's go ahead and do that. This is, of course, about Derek Perriman. It'd be great to give him a, get him an upgrade. You get Derek Perriman three plus touchdowns or 150 yards rushing and receiving. Well, the three plus touchdowns is going to be difficult, but the yardage is very doable. Now, we also have some upgrades available to co our coaching staff. I definitely think we need to take a look at that. So the talent I really want for this week is to boost Juke move for halfback so that we can get that star development um, or get that development upgrade. However, this one costs 90 points and we only have 70 points. So that's unfortunate. But I still want to use our points this week to help out. So I think the best one I think we can use is to, is to boost the short route running uh, for wide receivers and tight ends by three. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Looking at the injury report, it is no longer blank like last week. A big injury we received last game was Martavis Moore. Had that breakout game last week. And now he's going to be out for three weeks with a torn labrum. We also have Tevin Marion, a backup tight end, one of our backup tight ends who's uh, dinged up. I'm not too worried about that one. But the biggest concern is Martavis Moore, obviously. Uh, let's see if we need to manage our active rosters to accommodate that injury. So we only have four wide receivers on the active roster. Uh, there are some free agents that I think can help us. Um, and we have the cap room, so I think I'm going to sign Maurice Lake. 29 years old, 7-year veteran from Alabama. And he's a playmaker ar archetype, so I'm going to go ahead and sign him. So now we can adjust the depth chart here. I think Lake will be our third best receiver. George up here to fourth. And then we'll have Flanagan here in the fifth slot here. We do need to cut one player, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. We have one we have to get rid of one player from our active roster. I'm gonna move Nathan Howard back to the practice squad here. As we have a total of six guards and centers on the active rosters. And so that should take care of that. And I think we're going to be ready to go. Let's go ahead and go in game and see if we can be Shreveport. So the first of three road games for the Breakers. As Goldberg comes out in the shotgun on first and ten. He drops back to throw. 
Deep over the middle, and that is caught. That's good for 18 yards. And that is late. The newly signed wide receiver for the breakers. Gets in on the action right away. Goldberg play action. And that was an inaccurate throw there. Intended for the tight end. It's going to be second down and 10. Perryman with his first carry. He had a lot of room to the left side. And he's all the way to the 42-yard line of Shreveport. That's a 16-yard gain for Perryman. First down and 10 at the 42 of Shreveport. And that's Bernard's first carry. That's good for four yards as he checks into the game. It's going to be second down and six. Goldberg to throw. And that is picked off. Intercepted at the 25-yard line of Shreveport. As that was not a good throw by Goldberg. Trevor Carr with the interception for the Pirates. Lake was in the intended receiver. Briscoe gets the carry and Brown was sitting there waiting for him. And that's going to be a three yard loss. Third down and 10. For the Pirates. Anderson back to throw. He can't find anybody once again. He's going to run. And he got the first down. Brown on a tackle once again. Who's had a mammoth game so far. But the Pirates get their first first down. On the quarterback scramble. Briscoe with the carry. Cuts it inside. And he's going to get about two yards. It's going to be second down and eight. Quick throw by Anderson is broken up nicely there by Howard. And that's going to make it third down and eight. Play action by Anderson. He throws it deep down the field and that is broken up. That is Anderson. Trying to go for Howard there, and that's going to be a fourth down for Shreveport. And they'll have to punt once again. And that's going to go out of bounds at the 16-yard line, it looks like. So the Breakers offense is going to start out first down and 10 at the 16. Goldberg back to throw. And he's going to dump it off to Perryman. And he's going to get about four yards. Not a good start for Goldberg. He's, only, he's starting out three for 11 throwing. Goldberg has it to Perryman once again. And he's going to get another three yards. This is going to be third down and four. Goldberg dumps it off to Perriman, and he's going to get the first down. Perriman got ran just enough after the catch to get the first down, getting about four yards. And it's going to be a first down and 10 at the 26-yard line as Goldberg is in a shot, shotgun. And quick throw by Goldberg, throws it to Byers, and he's able to get eight yards. That's going to make it second down and two.
Kramer with the handoff. He leaps over defender but trips. And he had a lot more room to run there if he could have kept his feet. But that's going to be a first down. Play action by Goldberg. He's getting pressured and he's going to have to throw it away. It's going to be second down and 10 now. Goldberg to throw. Quick throw, and that is complete. That is Minter. And he's all the way to the 33 yard line of the Pirates. That's good for 28 yards. Offset eye for the breakers. And it looks like we got some movement here. And that's gonna be a false start on Tree on uh on New Orleans. So first down and fifteen. Perriman gets the handoff. He goes he cuts it to the outside. And he's he's able to get six yards. It's gonna be second down and nine. Goldberg back to throw. And that is nearly picked off. That's going to make it third down and nine. Goldberg back to throw. And that was off the mark. Intended for Lake. And that's going to make it fourth down and the breakers will... Attempt a field goal here. This will be a 49 yard attempt by Moody. And it is good. Goldberg in the shotgun. He drops back the throw. And that is caught. Minter caught the ball, took a shot, but he was able to hang on to it. And that's his second catch. And that gives the breakers the ball at the 43 yard line after an 18 yard gain. Play action by Goldberg. He throws up the middle and that is caught. That is Minter once again. And that's gonna be another nine, that's gonna be a 19 yard gain. So that's gives the breakers the ball at the 36 yard line of Shreveport. Goldberg out of the shotgun once again. He drops back to throw. And that is caught. That is Minter once again up the middle. And that's another break, breaker's first down. Goldberg under center this time. Play action by Goldberg. He throws it wide open as Byers at the six yard line. He goes out of bounds. And it's going to be first down and goal for New Orleans. Perriman alone back in the backfield. And he gets the handoff. He makes a move. But not much room for him to go. Maybe a yard. And it's going to be second down and goal for Perriman and the breakers. Offset eye for New Orleans. Perriman gets the handoff. He fights his way. and He's into the end zone for a touchdown. Derek Perriman with a tough run there to get in the end zone. And it is 9-0 New Orleans.
Moody in for the extra point. And it is 10 0 New Orleans. Anderson under center. He drops back the throw. Quick throw and has it caught. That is Kyle Pitts. And that's an eight yard gain. It's second down and two. Play action by Anderson. Quick throw to Pitts up the middle. That is caught. That's a first down. But there is a player down for Shreveport. An offensive lineman. And that's not the position Shreveport needs an injury at. Anderson back to throw. Can't find anybody. He's going to run and take off. And he dives forward. He's going to get about eight yards. This is going to be second down and two. Anderson back to throw. And that is caught by Briscoe along the sidelines. And that's another first down for Shreveport. As the clock stops with one minute and 31 seconds remaining. Breaker showing blitz. And quick throw is incomplete there by Anderson. That's going to make it second down and 10. Anderson back to throw. Can't find anybody. He's rolling out to his left and he's going to get sacked once again. This time by Wolford. That's going to make it third down and 17. Anderson back to throw. He throws it as dive and catch made there. That is Pickens. That is Pickens' first catch of the game, but it goes for 31 yards. As Shreveport calls timeout. So first down and ten for Shreveport at the Breakers 28 yard line. Anderson back to throw once again. He throws and that is caught by Pitts and he's going to score. Kyle Pitts in the later stages of his career was able to make a few catches on that drive and Shreveport finally gets on the scoreboard. Third down and six. Play action by Anderson. He throws and, and he finds an open receiver. That is number 16. That is Wilson. Winslow, I should say. His first catch. And that goes for 22 yards. Anderson under center now. They have the ball at the Breakers 49 yard line now. As Briscoe gets the carry, he makes a move to the left side and he's able to fight for six yards. It's going to be second down and four. Anderson hands it off and White. They would get five yards there. It's going to be third down and one yard to go. White gets, gets the carry and he's going to get the first down. As he picks up three yards. Anderson out of the shotgun. First down and ten at the breaker's 37 yard line. He has it to White. And he has a hole to the left side, and that's going to go for six yards. It's going to be second down and four.
The pitch is to Briscoe to the left side. He has some room to the left side. And he's going to take it to the Breakers 21 yard line. So the Breakers run defense is lacking a little bit, has been lacking a little bit in this game so far. I formation for Shreveport as he the handoff is to White and he has nowhere to go. He's going to lose yardage there. He's going to lose two yards. It's going to be second down and 12. I formation once again for Shreveport. White gets the handoff and nowhere to go for him. Maybe a yard. That's going to make it third down and 11. Hankins on the tackle. Anderson back to throw. He steps up in the pocket. He's going to run. And he dives forward to the 8-yard line. And he has a first down for Shreveport. He's been able to escape the, cop the pocket a couple times so far. So first down and goal at the 8-yard line for Shreveport. I formation. The pitch is to Briscoe to the right side, but he has nowhere to go. As Wilkinson read the play beautifully there. That's going to be a loss of a couple yards. It's second down and goal now at the 11-yard line. I formation for Shreveport. The pitch is to White to the left side this time. And... Not much doing once again. Maybe a yard gain. It's going to be third down and goal. Hankins on a tackle. Anderson in the shotgun. He drops back to throw. Breakers are blitzing. But Anderson's not able to find the receiver. And that's going to bring the field goal unit on for Shreveport. This will be a short 27-yard field goal. And that is good. And we have a tie ball game now. 10 to 10. Perriman with the handoff again up the middle. And he's going to get about two yards. It's going to be third down and five. Goldberg drops back to throw, and he finds Allen. That's going to be complete. That is Allen's first catch, I believe, in this game. And that's good for 10 yards. Goldberg out of the shotgun. He drops back to throw. And he throws it. And that is complete. And that's going to be 10 yard gain for a first down. That is Faulkner with his first catch as well. So the breakers tight end starting to get into involved in the passing game. Goldberg to throw. He finds a wide open Byers along the left side there. And that's Another first down all the way to the 20-yard line of Shreveport. That is Byers' third catch. Perryman with the carry to the left side. He's going to get maybe two yards. It's going to be second down and eight. Goldberg back to throw. He throws it towards the end zone. That is overthrown. So it's going to be third down and eight now. Goldberg to throw. Can't find anybody. He's rolling out to the right. 
He throws it towards the end zone. That's caught for a touchdown. That's, that is Jason Minter. And nice job by Goldberg there, not panicking and, ro and just rolling out to find the open receiver as he was getting ready to get sacked. And Minter was able to keep his feet inbounds in the end zone for a touchdown. And the extra point by Moody is good. And it is now 17 to 10, Breakers. Anderson, quick throw. And that's, that, is, oh, that is an open receiver there. That is Woodard with the catch. So Anderson's throwing, getting rid of the ball quicker in this half so since the first quarter. And it's starting to pay off. So first down and 10 at the Breakers 43 yard line. Anderson under center. He hands it off to Briscoe and he's hit hard after getting a four yard gain. And it's going to be second down and six. Briscoe with the carry. As he gets about two yards, this can be third down and four now for Shreveport. Anderson back to throw, and that is Kyle Pitts with the catch, and he has a first down. And he's all the way to the 30-yard line of the breakers, and so the drive will continue. Play action by Anderson. He throws it deep, and that is a jumping catch made by Zach Pickens. And just like that, Shreveport has tied the ball game once again. As the Shreveport offense has come alive since that ugly start. And it is 17-17. Anderson quick throw up the middle. And that is caught. And that's going to be a first down. And Zach Pickens make it, makes his third catch. Eye formation for Shreveport. White gets the carry. And he is hit hard there. Like Hankins has a two yard gain, second down and eight. Anderson hands it off to Briscoe. He makes a move and he's able to get the first down. Not good defense there by New Orleans. So first down and 10 at the New Orleans 33-yard line for Shreveport. Briscoe with the carry again. And he fumbles the ball. And I believe Shreveport picked it up. So that's going to be a, a, a loss of a yard. It's going to be second down and 11. Play action by Anderson. And that's picked up. Oh, it, it, that should have been picked off. Carter dropped it. And it's going to be third down and 11. Anderson rolls out to his left, but he can't find anybody. And he's going to go down. Call it a two-yard gain, but it's going to be fourth down. And Shreveport's going to have to attempt a field goal here to take the lead.
This will be a 49-yard attempt to take the lead. And it is good. And Shreveport regains the lead 20 to 17. As Goldberg hands it to Perryman. And he's able to get a couple yards. And it's gonna be second down and eight. Goldberg back to throw. And that is nearly intercepted as the defender jumped the route there. It's going to be third down and eight for the breakers. Goldberg to throw. And that was nowhere near the receiver. And that's going to be another three and out for the breakers offense. And this is going to be returned to about the 38-yard line. So the Breakers defense needs to find a way to get off the field quickly here. Anderson, play action. He throws and that is caught. That is Pickens once again. His fourth catch. First down and 10 at the 48 yard line of New Orleans as Briscoe has nowhere to go that time. It's going to be second down and 10. As another offensive lineman for Shreveport is headed to the locker room. Anderson, quick throw to the ground, is caught for six yards. That is Pickens once again. Third down and four now. And Briscoe with the draw play, and that's gonna be short of the first down. It's gonna be two yards short. Let's see if Shreveport goes for it here. They're gonna punt. Bit of a surprise there, but let's see if they're able to down it deep in their turret and they do they down at the five yard line so New Orleans will have a long way to go here here to even get in a field goal range first down and ten at the five yard line is Goldberg drops back to throw and that is off the mark as Goldberg has struggled in this game for the most part second down and ten at the five yard line Goldberg to throw. And fighting catch made by Minter up the middle is going to give New Orleans a first down. And we reached a two minute warning with the breakers down three points. Goldberg out of the shotgun. Quick throw up the middle is Caught. That is Lake with his second reception. And it's going to be second down and four. Goldberg to throw. And that is incomplete. Not a good throw. Third down and four now. Goldberg to throw, and that is another inaccurate throw. Not a good throw at all. And so it's gonna, that's going to make it fourth down 
for the breakers who are running out of time and they're gonna punt the ball with three timeouts remaining deep in their territory so the breakers are gonna need to hold Shreveport to a three and out here and burn their timeouts if they want to have a chance here I formation for Shreveport as Briscoe gets the carry and he's gonna get seven yards as the breakers use their first timeout second down and three And Anderson keeps it, but he's going to get tackled for a two-yard loss. That's going to make it third down and four as New Orleans uses their second timeout. Third down and four for Shreveport. As Anderson drops back to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. So that's going to save the breakers a using a timeout. And the punt is away. And that's going to be fair caught at the 14-yard line. So not the greatest field position once again for the Breakers offense. They're only going to have just over a minute to go. Want only one timeout remaining. Goldberg back to throw. And the caught is made by Perryman, who cannot get out of bounds as the clock continues to run. Goldberg dumps off to Perryman, but he couldn't get out of bounds once again. So it's going to be third down and three. Clock's still running. Breakers did not use their timeout. Goldberg back to throw. He throws a deep over the middle. That is caught by Byers. But the Breakers are going to have to use their timeout. They do not use their timeout. Goldberg back to throw. And that is made by Perryman. And now they use their timeout, but only four seconds remain. So the Breakers are only going to have one play remaining. Goldberg heaves it down the field. And that's going to be incomplete. And the Breakers are going to lose this game 20 to 17 after dominating the first part of this game 10 0. Shreveport is able to come back and get the victory 20 to 17. So a disappointing loss for the Breakers going down 20 to 17. It was definitely a tale of two halves as the Breakers defense dominated the first half, getting six sacks in the first half. Almost the first quarter. But Shreveport able to make adjustments. And didn't allow any sacks in the second half. Uh, the tail of the game is the rushing yardage. As the Breakers defense could not stop the rushing game of Shreveport. Allowing 171 yards rushing. Compared to 61 for the Breakers. The turnover on the first drive of the game for the Breakers offense. Came, comes back to haunt them as... Goldberg throws an interception on that first drive when in the street in Shreveport's territory in, in the red zone and that comes back to bite him. Goldberg not having a very efficient game with a 68.9 rating only completing 51% of his passes you know with one touchdown one interception just not a, a, a good day for him at all. Arnold Anderson Came back from a very slow start in the first half. Ends up completing 13 of 22 for 192 and two touchdowns. So he was able to do just enough to help Shreveport get a victory today. And this one's going to hurt. But we the Breakers are still in the playoff hunt. They're going to have two. We have two row games remaining. We're definitely going to need to win at least one of those games if we want to get into the playoffs. So, plenty of opportunities ahead for this team to still make the postseason. Let's go ahead and process our scenario. But I don't think 
Perryman got what he needed to get the dev upgrade as he needed a total of 150 yards of offense. I don't think he got that. He did not get it. So that's unfortunate. That was a missed opportunity there. We fall to eight and seven. Pirates advance to nine and six. And with that, I'm going to end the video here. We're coming up on it towards the end of the season. And hopefully we get into the postseason. Be sure and like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.